first off, uh, we were about to fight Glass Staff in the Red Brand hideout, and poof! Uh, everybody found themselves in this strange, dank, and weird basement. Dank. Yeah, dank. It was, it's kind of like moist and drippy. Um, uh, every, I think everyone but Malik immediately vomited due to the teleportation, and you guys had done a little bit of exploring, and you're you're in this room full of plates. Uh, you had good done gone through several rooms, and you got some cool little trinkets. And all of a sudden, you all turn, look at Key Three just standing there holding her stack of pancakes. That I'm just gonna say for the sake of it, she she brought with her, even though she set it down, didn't say she picked it back up. And boom, Morp is now there, and Key Three is not. God damn it! Oh, thanks. <laughs> I want to say that preference this with like that was Cerulli because Cerulli feels like she could really bond with Keithry because Keithry's great, and she knew what's up. She also brought the pancake. Mm -hmm. Um, Leek looks at the uh, the newly introduced character. This one's name, of course. He's just like, so wait, am I gonna turn into some little midget now? It's like the midget turned into a tall person. <laughs> yes, Molly, you're going to turn into me, Cerulli, the bard, the tiny one. I get it. Short jokes. As yeah, sir, it's, it's a very tall order for you, isn't it? <laughs> Man, somebody give me a chair so I can strangle this fucker. As, you wouldn't even reach me. As the puff of smoke of sleep. Morp appearing clears, uh, the note that Key 3 had pocketed drifts down to the floor. Oh, God, God. Picks it up, or I guess Morp picks it up. Whatever. Google. Somebody picks it up. I pick it up. Alright, uh, I'm going to send you what the. Room one note says. Yeah. Morp found the note. Yeah, cat did. Did you get a note from one of the chests last time? No, I don't think so. I don't think I did. Yeah, Keith, you got both of them. Did you get both of them? Yeah, she got both of them. Is... I don't see who I gave note number two to, but there's also a key that was in that chest that. I, yeah, believe. I believe the note and the key went to Allison. Weird, because I don't see that I DM'd her the note. Anyways, you also uh, there's also a key that dropped from the puff of smoke that Key 3 was poofed away in. Okay, so key and a note. Yep. This has been a fun adventure. Like, it's a fun yeah. little side quest. But, uh... AJ can do whatever he wants with those notes. He can read them. He can show them to anyone. He can keep he them can secret. Wipe his ass with them. But, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this the room, this room has already been looted, and you have. Who uh, got the two chicken? I believe. I don't know if Key Three took one. Is I know. Malik carrying the cop. Malik I took Malik one of them. One. No, I remember. Malik took one. He's like, "All right, dinner," and then Norval just hung the other. Like, no. Also, I don't know if anyone's filled in uh, your good friend Morp on specifically what has happened yet. Oh no, we were just doing the setup. I just appeared out of nowhere and I'm very confused and I have an out. Yep. So, uh, oh fuck. I'm the main party member, Malik knows nothing. I'm fucked. So I have a vague, like, sense that I was doing something else before I got here. But now we I'm here, so I'd like to be filled in. Malik looks like those remastering? That's how I was doing my like, That's a possibility. <laughs> Sweet, my man. He holds up his hands. <laughs> I just, uh, like sigh. <laughs> so, like, can you leave me hanging? High five? I will, I have, uh, I will leave you hanging. <laughs> what? I will leave you hanging. He's like, alright, gotta do like that, bro. We gotta do like that. <laughs> <laughs> Normal has always where she's just like I'm. I'm surrounded by idiots. So uh, I have these notes. Uh, you just want to know what they say? Yes, I absolutely do. Also, hi, Morp. It's it's been a hot minute. Uh, like, we've yeah, been it's through some hot. shit. There was an octopus involved. Ah, oh, what the? What? I want to see. I want to see this octopus. Where is that? Uh, Don't worry about it. Is it dead? Did you just kill it? No, he's he's alive. He's, 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 he's harmless. He's, he's, he's harmless. Oh, well, these notes. He so, said he was uh, hungry, but I got. It. I mean, me too. Uh, these notes say uh, the first one says a mysterious note. Sorry about all this. I was testing teleport, testing a teleportation spell, and it sent some random adventurers into this old basement of mine. There's a crystal ball that can teleport you out. Uh, I forget where it is. Go find it. 
Virginia. Oh, that yeah. was familiar. I remember that I one. Do, I do remember that one because that's how we ended up in this and mess. I think, I think the other one talks about uh, how it's in the southern half of the facility and something like that. It says, sending these notes as I write them, left the crystal ball in the broom closet somewhere in the southern half of the basement. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, so I believe Norval got both of those notes. Or Norval got yeah, uh, three. Look. All I've gotten has been a one that summons a tomato and a chicken that Malik is not turning into dinner. And I have like a strange like feeling that possibly in like a parallel universe. Also, uh, maybe a barmaid. Uh, you, I, I guess I forgot to explain this. The room where you appeared in, uh, it is stacked nearly to the ceiling. All those circles are stacks of plates. Some of them are clean, some of them are dirty, and then there's the three chests, which have already been looted. Someone's uh, going to be serving up a lot no, of uh, no. flat, round foods. There's also a stack of yeah. pancakes next to you that uh, Key 3 was previously holding. Here's a question. Who got the stone orb? I know somebody was able to pick it up. That was Key 3, I thought. Alright, so Key 3 left us, and she got the stone orb. You know what? Um, yeah, she was able to lift it, but... Uh, it did stub Malik's toe. Uh, I guess I that... Recall he, he's vomited a string of curse words. That's, Does that give him less movement? Nobody really knows. Uh, nobody's had like a magical inspection done on the orb, so you don't know what its enchantment necessarily is. <laughs> it's, like it's a ball of fuck you is what it is. <laughs> Piece of shit. Norval, I was like, you know what? I'm glad you were the one who dropped it on your foot. Fuck you. No! Please draw my type anyways. Norval is slightly hurt. <laughs> and offended. <laughs> he just grins. He just got what he wanted. <laughs> Surly's just, Surly's just laughing. So yeah, uh, the world is your oyster. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Out of this oyster? Well, let's see. We've... We know the... <sighs> closet's in the south. Is there, is there a door, like, down here? Uh, let me double check what that Looks is. Like... That might be a gate. Lock. Of some kind. Yeah, I don't see a door symbol, so. No, that is just oh, an archway. Is that? that that's an open archway up north is uh, what is described here as a portcullis, which I think is just like bars. You can try to do stuff to them if you'd like. Mm. But other than that, there's the door. The path you... of least resistance, and he'll try the southern route. Yeah, there's a lot of the northern area you haven't explored yet, but there's also the there's something there's a bunch of stuff to the west and to the south that you haven't explored yet. We'll get there. God, there's a lot of pancakes. Chris! Look, there's man just... loves his breakfast. Uh, that's true. We did make a breakfast. Oh, yeah, that oh, yeah, that uh, that uh, room with all the pancakes, uh, Keithry just looked in there, but she didn't, like, explore or anything. Well, we'll get there. For now, Malik is looking into the room to the south. Where I'm also looking the... to the south. Fog of War. So you guys want to go in there? Yeah. All right, I see. All right, so he carefully steps into the room and tests the door on the right. Let me actually see if there's anything supposed to be in that room. Yeah, he, he's he's under the mindset that because this place is inhabited and it, it seems like there's not really going to be a lot of hazards in this area, so he's not too worried. You want to try it? Okay, so there's nothing. It's kind of a blank room. You want to open that door? Yeah, he's trying the handle. Uh, let me... He's got, of course, got a dagger at the ready, just in case. Because his weapons are short sword, daggers, and... What level is everyone? Uh, he, I think everyone was supposed to be two, but I think Malik, she is one. He's level one, because I haven't fixed... Or no, he, oh no, she's level two, that's what it is. Yeah, Malik is supposed to be level two, but I don't think I've finished fixing his HP and stuff yet, because it's still only 16 max. You open this door? Yeah, I'll open it. Boop -a -doop. Yep. There is a giant rat. Oh, in, like in a the, big rat? In, yeah, like a like big a one. Like a skeever. Yeah. Uh, he's in the like back corner, person. though, and he notices you. What do you want to do? Can I, can, can, can I step uh, on it? Is it big? So far, it's just Malik poking his head in as far as I, I know. Like, Holy fuck, this huge! And just slams the door shut. Okay. It's like, uh, I wouldn't go in there with a giant rat in there. It thinks massive, and I, I don't like it. It'd be little eyes, just ugh. Oh, so it looks like you! Roll okay, me a perception cool. check, uh, Malik. Uh, oh, right, uh... Uh, let's 
Perception. Oh. What's this song? What's my bonus to perception? Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, talk about being unprepared, am I right? Shut the fuck up. I've been actually played in a while. <laughs> Neither of any uh, of us. Let's see, plus five, so I got nine. <laughs> nine? Nah, nothing in particular. Okay. Um, so he just shuts the door and he's like, yeah, it's, the thing's huge. Yeah. Can I roll to see if you miss something? Uh, uh, you can if you want to open the door and poke your head in. Mm, I'd rather not. Right. Hey, hey, so really, there's uh, there's some there's some candy in here if you want it. I don't believe you. Look, man, it looks really delicious. All right. Why don't you go get it? I'm a diabetic. Yeah. <laughs> That's bullshit. You know it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. uh -huh. <laughs> mm. By the way, um. Look, your sister's in there. Okay. Look, she's she's just big and hairy and gross. I don't have a sister. You do now. Fuck you. <laughs> By the way, uh, Angel, yes. it's really Emily actually know each other. Okay. Uh, Alright. Didn't so, I buy quantum? Yes, he's, he's gonna leave that nonsense <laughs> alone. So, look at the southern end of the room. Open that he, door. He just kind of knows, he knows from just exploring the place that the door to the north heads back to the chamber they came from previously. Hmm. Wait, which way are you going? Off of the store there. They're not where they need to be, but and uh, there are two goblins. Like flourishes his daggers. He's like, ah, I'm finding something I can kill. Is that... Is that... So you were afraid of the rat? I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't find Look. the tokens for the goblins. Look, big, big rats can fuck off. Goblins, he's he can handle goblins. Hmm. This looks like skeletons without their legs. I like this website. It tells me what page in the monster manual the monsters are on. That's good. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's, he's got his daggers out, and he's, he's looking like he wants to fight, so... Ooh, these are... You need some help in there, or...? Yeah, if you guys want to move in there. Um... Well, I guess, would you guys say you were behind him the whole time, or...? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I just haven't been moving my marker. Alright, um... Yeah, if you guys wanna, I feel like one if one person wants to squeeze the left of Malik and then the rest of you like where Malik is standing right I now and then go, going back through the door, <laughs> really uh, just pile your tokens. So the goblins are up first. Um, yep. They're pretty small, you know, Ow. tiny goblins. Hi. Um, one is gonna move up to Morp. The other is gonna move up to Malik. Let me see what they roll to hit. They have scimitars, by the way. Uh, the one on Morp. Ooh, that's pretty good. Rip. Uh, 13. And he gets... Does a 17 hit you, Morp? What do you mean a 17? Does What's your armor class? I believe I am, like, uh, the lightest one. I have scale mail armor. Okay. Uh, your, your, your just tell your armor class on it, dude. Um, I don't know where to look at that. Is it the top part of the page? Very top of the sheet. Right below your class and level and race. 13. Uh, 13. 13? Yeah, that hits then. He's gonna do... Uh, he's gonna do a grand total of 5 damage to you. Uh, by the way, for the... Uh, for the start of this encounter... Actually, write down... Did you, were you at full health when we... From... Does your character sheet say you're at full health already? Mm, this current point's 28 out of 28. Okay, yeah, then... Uh, full health. Yeah. Um, the idea is, like, when, we, when we're starting this, you start at full health, full spell slots, and everything. And you'll revert to back with what you were when we get back to the real world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you take... Uh, what was that, five damage? Yep. Uh... And then the one for Malik. Does a 15 hit you? Yes, just barely. Ah. You take four damage. This is specifically slashing damage, by the way. Okay. If that's of, of any value to anyone. Okay. Morp, you're up. All right, so... Uh, I would assume I have my mace out. Yeah, you can... Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'd like to attack... Hold on. This boy right here. 
I'm okay. going to roll. Roll? Where's the, where's the dice? Did you just roll a d20 or did, was that, did you click on an attack? A d29. Or a d, yeah, I did a d20 and I got a what's your What's your modifier for your uh, mace? That would be a strength, so I'm negative one. <laughs> so eight, oh, I guess. That's an eight. Um, yeah, that doesn't hit. Fuck. You miss. Um, what kind of armor are they wearing? Uh, they are goblins. They are wearing leather armor. And... I believe that's uh, a shield. It says here leather armor and shield. I'm assuming that's taken into account with their AC. The shield raises their AC by two points, so it'll be 15. Yeah. That's what shields do in general, so yeah, we'll consider yeah. that's part of it. Uh, then, unless you want to move or... Yeah, I think that that's about all you can do. You attack with your action. Did you, did you want to move or... Who, for him or... For more? Or is that the, your turn? Angel? I don't know if that room can move. Oh yeah, yeah, that was it. Okay, uh, oh, Malik. Alright, Malik is going to take a stab at... Yeah, right in front of him. No, also, he, just um, want to remind everyone real quick, uh, you can forego your action to disengage and move... I think it's move beyond five feet without provoking an attack of opportunity, if you want to. I believe it requires certain abilities to re-engage, though, don't you? you? Well, that would use up your action, so you, unless you have something special that says you can attack when you do that, then, yeah, you're out, you're, you forego your attack to, to gain yeah, some I distance. Don't, I don't think so. But that isn't always not um, an option. Now, he wields dual daggers. Does that... Do you know if that gives him two attacks? Does... Around the six seconds. Yeah. Anything uh, you can do in a body, you can do it in, like, a phase. Whatever Ranger. Yeah. Let me check Rangers. You didn't take anything that says you can take two attacks, do you? If don't you don't get your second attack until level five. Oh, yeah. Is that the case? It might be the case, yeah. It's, um... Let me double check. Two fighting style dueling game plus two to damage rolls. <laughs> single-handed weapons. On third layer, on third level, you get to choose between Colossus Slayer, Giant Killer, or Horde Breaker. If you chose Horde Breaker on each of your turns when you make a weapon attack, you can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature that is within five feet of the original target, if you chose Horde Breaker. Colossus Slayer is pretty good because uh, if you hit a creature, the creature takes an extra 1d8 damage if it's below its max hit point. Okay, yeah. I have a uh, I have the skill uh, dueling, which is uh, increases damage with a single uh, a single handed weapon. So yeah, my there. I don't think Wait, is Malik level two or level three? Two. He's level two. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. You don't get any of those abilities yet. Um, so you get an extra dice against the attack. You get an extra dice against the attack because of bonus damage. Yeah. No. It's just two, plus two to damage. My plus my plus to attack that was plus six. Okay. So all right, I'm gonna roll to hit on that. Uh, the guy in front goblin. of you. Okay. Uh, did not roll well. Nine to hit. It's a miss. Uh, was that with the modifier? Yes. Ah, yeah, it's a miss. Yeah. Then it is. You're not gonna move or anything, because I know you can move five feet. I think without provoking an attack of opportunity. He's Just pretty blocked then at this point. Keep in mind these squares represent by the five foot square. Yeah. So but that is also the the, the gnome uh, behind you. That's fine. He's he's not gonna move. All right, then it's the release turn. I'm going to say you can pretty much move through your teammates. Well, I mean you can in general anyways. You can move past your teammates without causing any. I walk up. under him. So tiny. <laughs> <laughs> His knees kind of wide. Hold the phone. Excuse me. Oh, you haven't been here before, Malik. Um. Shit. Where am I? You're directly behind under. Malik. Or, yeah. So I'm looking at this guy. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So I'm gonna use my daggers. Behold my pointy friend. Say hello to my pointy friend. I'll point you in the dick. God damn it. I rolled a six. Which plus the hail modifier on his daggers. That's with the modifier. Oh, wow. Oh, no, that's a miss. Man, the dice are not with us tonight. <laughs> uh, Norville's turn, really, the then, if, unless you want to move. Him. I'm sorry, but your magnum dong was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> then, if you're not going to move, then it is Norville's turn. 
She's tall enough, she, tall enough she could technically shoot over them. Yeah, she's pretty tall. She's like six foot two, and we'll leave five six. Might allow it. Um, you went up the right cheat. He's gonna shoot for the same guy. <laughs> same guy. And it's for Longo. Fuck! What'd you do? <laughs> she dropped, I dropped her guy. It. Yeah, I did. Oh. I'm not counting that roll. As much as I want to count that roll. Do I want to use a different set of dice? These are using my good ones. Let me use the traders. Um, with my modifier, it's 16. That hits. That would be a hit, I think. Yep. Roll damage. Damage. My longbow, that is a D. Four. That minus four equals that. Ah, he's looking. He's looking really, really in bad shape. Alrighty, good to know. Yep. Um, did you do anything else? Move or, or whatnot? Where am I gonna go? You'd run past everyone and get in the other corner of the the room where the goblins are. Although they might start moving towards you. I got. There's a goblin between a hunter's legs. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay here. All right. Then it is the goblin's turn again. I'm sorry, I meant no shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy's actually. Uh, the go goblin who has been stuck with an arrow is going to swing at Malik. Does a 16 hit you? Is it right, so Malik's turn? Yeah, uh, no, the goblin hit Malik. Does a 16 hit you? Uh, <laughs> check. uh yes, I'm, I have four hero class, so. Ah, I gotcha. Ooh, that's Ooh. max damage. How much? Uh, six plus two, eight. Ooh, oof. he's, uh, he's not looking so hot. Then, uh, the other one is going to swing at Morp. Uh, well, yeah, that hits. <laughs> Dang it. The traitor dice have betrayed me. Uh, and that's minimum damage. Three. Three, Five. okay, so I got 20 left. Um... And because this one goblin has been hit and he is looking really beat up, goblins have nimble escape, so he's actually going to, as a bonus action, uh, run over here and start trying to bang on the, these bars to try and get out of here. Let me face in okay. the right direction. Um, that, Malik, was the, get him. that was the goblin's turn. Now it is Morp's turn. And reminder, oh, you, do have, you, you do have all your spell slots back, and because this is a one-off, I'm assuming, Cat, it's okay if he has full use of his spell slots and they will go back to whatever they were before he got here when we get back you're to the main. DM, you're the DM this session. That's your, that's your call to make. Well, you're the you're primary DM, so I want to just make sure that you're yeah, okay with... Yeah, my campaign. Oh, yeah, fuck it. You have your spell slots back. All right. <laughs> whatever they are. Mm, let's see. Uh, it would it would uh, cause a, a little, the, the thing where they attack you if you go move a too far. If I want to chase the other guy, um, no, because technically nimble escape gives him a disengage on as a bonus action. So no, the that, one that's attacking him is disengaging though. Yeah, that, the one that's attacking you is still like attacking you. He's pissed. Okay, so thing. I, mean, I wanted to get this guy before he got back up. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I'll swing for this dude again. Okay. Mm, don't I'm fuck me. High. Fuck. Minus one, so I got a four. Nope. Uh, you do swing into the wall next to him, and you take out a good chunk of the wall. There's something in the wall, but you're in battle right now, so... Okay. Nice to know. Yeah. Um, and can I move so as to maybe make room for people to come in? Uh, yes, like, you can, but if you move more than five feet away f from him, you will provoke an attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity. And that's more than, more than a square, right? Yeah. Uh, five feet is one square, so you can move one square in any direction. Okay. I'll yeah. through here. Yeah. So as to make room. Then it is Malik's turn. Malik! Um, Malik is going to attempt to throw his dagger at the fleeing goblin. Uh, what... Uh, what's the stats on a dagger as a thrown weapon? I don't know. Um, boop -a -doop. I have the armor and weapons Hi. page tapped. 
Uh, finesse, light, thrown, range 20 feet. Uh, up to 60 feet with disadvantage. Uh, it's finesse, so that's whatever your dexterity modifier is. And you've got two daggers, don't you? Yeah. Aim one in each hand? Yep. Okay, yeah, go, go ahead and, uh, you're hitting the guy who's trying to escape, but he's, like, banging against the, the, uh, yeah. the yeah. bars. So he, like, you know, flourishes, he flips it in the hand, catches the tip, hefts it in the air, and just, just chucks it. Like, I'm still drawing that. Yeah, yeah. Reveal this just so you can see that that's a barred door thing. Yeah. Uh, 16. 16. You know what? I'm sorry to say, but that hits. Yep. I hate to All say right. it, but you absolutely hit him. Uh, roll for damage. He is not looking good, by the way, already, before your attack. Well, what's the damage on a dagger normally? No, oh, I shouldn't have closed my book. 1d4 plus, okay, so 1d4. Where's that plus 4 coming from? I don't remember. Uh, I believe your... Oh, it's my dexterity. Yeah. Oh, and then what's more? If it does a single-hand weapon, or I think it's only a matter for dueling. I don't know if it has some throwing weapons. Uh, Ranger... Because I have a skill weapon. called, uh, Fighting Style Dueling. And it says... Gain plus two to damage rolls on a single one-handed weapon, no other weapons. It doesn't if, stay not thrown, though. If a weapon has a thrown property, you can throw the weapon to make a range attack. If the weapon is a melee weapon, you use the same ability modifier for the attack roll and damage roll that you would for a melee attack with the weapon. If you throw a hand axe, use your strength... Since the dagger well, you know if my ability applies to it. Um, it doesn't say you can't do it on the throne weapon, so I'm gonna allow it. Yeah. All right. So there's a one d four plus six. Roll. Uh, so that's seven damage. Uh, your dagger hits him in the back of the neck, but it keeps going. It actually comes out through his neck and sails into the next room past the bars. And the goblin, he falls down and his head falls off. Jesus fucking Christ. So really has a moment where she looks at, like, the goblin, the knife, and then Malik and just... Holy shit, dude! So I'm you're... Like, I'm gonna get that back! Yeah, you're gonna have to okay. make it into that room some other way, uh, to get your dagger back. They just, they just special order, too, man. They're silver, and I can't lose these things. Um... Well, I was like, you fucked up, my dude. And uh, unless you want to move, you're free to move. You won't. You won't get like a. You won't get an attack of opportunity or anything. Um. Can he move here? I can't remember. I believe you can move into range of a creature, but if you, but without it getting attack of opportunity. But now you'd have to move if you moved away from him on the start of your next turn. If he's still there, then you get attack of opportunity. Yeah, no, he's fine. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. Close yeah, gap and get into place to attack this motherfucker in his next turn. Yep. Right, Surely, you're up. Dagger time, bitches! <laughs> Everyone's favorite weapon, the dagger. I know. Well, I mean, that's also really has other than her. She has a very beautiful. She has her daggers equipped. Mm. Show me potato salad! Give me that nat 20! You can move up to hit him? Yes, I need to do that shit. <laughs> What'd you roll? Um, hold on, math. 17. That hits. Yeah, well, these daggers are silvered, by the way. <clears throat> ah. And they have some beautifully detailed gold uh, inlays on the uh, length of the blade. Where'd D4 they're, go? They're pretty fancy. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's paid some good coin for them. He's had them for a while, though, so... That's the only thing he's paid good coin for. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit scuffed, and there's some, some dings, but they're, they're well-loved. What's your damage? Right. Um... Four. Four. You do four damage. Oh, fuck me. Huh? That's exactly what the last attack did to the the first attack did to the first goblin. He's oh, looking. Yeah? He's not looking too good. Well then, in that case, Norville. Me thinks you should uh, give up peacefully. <laughs> and Norvell's hard to shit. She's just gonna shoot him. I like the way you think. You're gonna just shoot over Cirilli? She's three foot tall! <laughs> She's literally more than twice yep. her height. Yeah, Norville's mm. twice Cirilli's height! I know. Just don't crit miss. 
it just falls out the bow and impales her his brain. Oh, great. Uh, Rollin character sheet. Give me potato salad. Fifteen. Fifteen, that's a hit. Fifteen? Ooh, yeah, that's a hit. <coughs> Eight. Roll for damage. Three. Three? Oh, well, would you look at that? Uh, Norvell shoots him. Arrow goes right in his eye socket, and he just falls back dead. Motherfucker, that sucks. <laughs> what? What's this? Norvell, it's on a kind of a, like a yield cycle. The door to the right opens. Hey guys, what'd I miss? Oh shit. Shot his yeah, one more goblin. Um, he's not holding a shield though, so he doesn't get that fancy plus two. Uh, let me roll so, for his initiative. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna say because he walked in on this. He'd be, I believe he'd be on the same as the monsters previously. Oh, okay. He'd also be at disadvantage though because he just walked in. Yeah. No, I don't think that's. Technically, the rules for uh, like surprise rounds, which apparently don't exist, it's just. Um, I'd have to uh, look it up again. I don't remember off the top of my head. I remember there was I a distinction. Works, if you're surprised, you don't roll your initiative until the next battle round. That are the people who... Yeah, something like that. I think they just don't uh, attack on that round. But they can move. Something like that. I'll have to look it up again. Anyways. Um, so that was Norville's turn. Then it's uh, his turn. He's gonna pull out his... What do they have again? Scimitars? Scimitars. Um, Scimitar. He is going to move. He's not too smart. Oh yeah, let me uh AO <laughs> this dude. Yeah. yeah. Changes. Boop -doop. He <coughs> runs right up and he's gonna swing at Norivel. Bitch. Does does a fifteen hit you? Um Norivel specifically? Uh. Fucking unfortunately. Ah. Then he's going to roll his measly little d6 for a grand total of five damage. Is that five? Yeah, it's five. Slightly wounded. Hmm. And... You know what's funny? What? Chris, I was about to move it back up to my max hit points, but then he said, like, oh, five damage. I'm like, well, it looks like I don't have to change a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Morph's turn. <laughs> And right, um, I would like to remind Morp that I believe flanking rules, if you are on the opposite side of a teammate with a creature in between, I think you rolled advantage for, for those attack rolls. How much is advantage? Uh, you roll the your attack dice twice and you choose the higher of the two. Okay, great. Alright, so, well, let's see if double, I hit let first. Let me double check all. that rule, though. I don't think I'm gonna put Luna Fuck me. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I absolutely know I didn't hit, so. <laughs> well, yeah, ro uh. Did you did you roll two? I rolled a six. Roll again, cause, or did you not move into position, or? Uh, I've been on the square. Yeah, but you gotta be sandwiching the enemy to get advantage. Oh. Okay, so then I, I guess I could do that. Yeah, since you didn't, I guess you didn't quite understand that, so I'll let that yeah. go. Um, so yeah, sw uh, swing again. Uh, roll the D twenty. Roll the D. Yeah. Hey. Uh, with a minus one, that does yeah. not hit. Fuck. But it is Malik's turn. Hmm. Kick his ass. Yeah, flanking on squares, when a creature and at least one of its allies are adjacent to an enemy and an opposite or and on opposite sides or corners of the same base. So that would be uh let me pick my hand. It's like for instance if we were dealing with this goblin here, it would be like this space and this space. Or it would be like this corner Work. Yeah, as long as there's two or people standing uh, with one square between them and the monster is between them in that square. Yeah, so yeah. diagonals or uh, straight. All right, so Malik's turn. Yep. Malik is nursing his cut, but he's uh, got his eye on eviscerating that extra goblin that just sort of started to, started to show up. Mm. He takes a swing at it with his dagger. 
so close. Alright, that is... That is a 22. To hit? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, there was yeah. He, he, has uh, six to hit, so. he gets the stab. Yeah, alright, now... Roll for damage. Uh, three plus six, it's nine damage. Nine damage? Yeah, he's yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah, he, he just like he reaches forward, grabs it by the head, and just sinks his blade right into its gut, mm. twists, and then pulls it out. Flings the blade into like, you know, a little flourish. Yeah. I will say this, he does everything with flourish and drama. That is mm-hmm. what he does. No, he's just extra. <clears throat> so, combat is now officially over. Though. There's no more hidden surprises, except for something <laughs> sticking out of the wall north of that, uh, Goblin that was is next to uh, next to uh, Cerilli. If I don't know if anybody wants to do anything with that, uh, what's this hole in the wall? Can I There's something peek sticking my through it. Malik sees the shiny, but he goes straight to the bars to investigate wherever his dagger fell. Um, deal, deal with the hole in the wall first, then we'll deal with Malik. Yeah. Cerilli is like, hey, hole, wall, what is? Yeah, there's uh, there seems to be a little bit of a a bit of a bone sticking out of it. It's like a tiny bone. Oh, There's like, the wall goodness. looks really crumbly around it. You just see the... Hey, Malik, I found your dick! You just see your fuck you in the distance. <laughs> she decides to guess, investigate further. Uh, you want to yank on it? Yeah. Roll me a strength check. Really? What is your... That is Norvell's. Strength one of the big bars? Yeah, it is. Ooh, this one. Cool. Are you proficient in strength? It's a four. No, you're not. <laughs> that was my roll. A four. Shit. Rip. This little, this big, big ass looking knife icon is where your blade is sitting. <laughs> Alrighty. <I'll> take it. <laughs> I like it. Get in. Get What'd in. you get? A four. She rolled a four. Oh. Yeah, it's it's not moving, but it's wiggling a lot. You wanna try again? Or what do you wanna do? Cerulee is determined. She doesn't quit. Not a quitter. She's gonna try pulling at it again. Just hang off of it, use all your weight. Thirteen. Uh a fully freshly roast chicken pops out of the wall. Oh my god, this is you, amazing! You got a wall chicken. You got some, chicken. You got some wall chicken. Um, 